a really good day of practice. Uh, really pleased with the way the scout teams perform for their first day out uh, uh, in, in the tempo that they provided. I thought that was excellent. The attitudes that the kids had were, were terrific and uh, we just got to keep uh, uh, setting that as a standard. We can improve, certainly, but uh, if we don't ever dip below what we did today, we'll be a good football team uh, with, the, with the work that we're getting from those demonstration teams. Uh, in terms of uh, guys who are nicked, I don't know that anybody came back today that wasn't here yesterday, so uh, I don't have much to say about that other than we hope to get those guys back soon, and, and uh, certainly by the beginning of next week. Uh, we'll practice again tomorrow morning, and then we'll go out to the Rose Bowl and kind of go a, a, a game day simulation uh, on, on Friday, and then we'll uh, let the guys get their legs back a little bit over the weekend. But uh, feel good about our football team. Uh, understand that we're thin in some places, but uh, guys aren't making any excuses. We're going to fight through, and we're going to find a way to be a good football team. Do you think Joseph Fourier is going to be ready for his Kansas State? Uh, you know, I hope so. I certainly hope so. I know he's trying hard. How did Kevin feel out there today, Coach? Prince? Yeah. He didn't do much today. Yeah, just kind of resting him today. Did you say he regressed? No, we, they asked him not to do anything today. Yeah. How much do you see this current O-line unit starting to gel together? I think it's going really well right now. Certainly there's a lot still to be done, and, and we won't know until we're tested. But uh, they're five seniors. They, they uh, like each other. They uh, believe in each other. And, you know, if we can keep them all together, it, we got a good chance. What do you guys expect Dak Tony to die this year? Say that again? What do you expect Dak Tony in that safety spot? Uh, from Tony Dye? Yeah. What do I expect from him? Yeah. You know, I think he's a great player. Obviously, with the kind of year that Raheem had a year ago, uh, people will probably lean to his half of the field, try to stay away from Raheem. And I think Tony's up to that challenge. I think he's uh, poised to have a great season. <laughs> One other thing from me, uh, the NCAA, uh, denied the appeal to Jeff Baca that just came in uh, late yesterday and and so uh, uh, we'll see what the next step is in that process you were optimistic do you have any idea what, what I guess what went wrong I don't I, I wasn't in their meeting I just know that they uh, turned that appeal down so we'll uh, do what's appropriate with respect to that any idea what the next step is I'm not positive but I'll let you know as soon as I do know I don't know if there's a second appeal or what have you. Kyle Forbach, is he close to returning? Yeah, I think Kyle will be ready for the game. Coach, would you say you're happy with where you, your team is right now going into? Uh... I'm, ex I'm elated with where the team is. I just wish the team had a few more healthy bodies. Yeah. You know, I, I think the guys who have gone through have worked their tails off. I think we're a better football team than when we started. I think we've coached them hard. We're tired, like most teams. And uh, the art is now to get them fresh. And, uh, and yet still get better between now and game time. And uh, that takes a lot of discipline, takes a lot of uh, concentration, but I, I think we're up to it. And you know, I know that uh, Kansas State's as eager as we are, so it'll be a good football game. Have you seen a lot of maturation in like, your second year players, guys like Randall Carroll? Certainly, yes. Yeah, they, they've, uh, they've grown up a little bit, still more to do. You know, we're not there yet. Uh, when you're there, you're graduating, that's what we say. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a uh, it's a fun process. How, how much of a cutback would it be if Prince is not able to go on Friday for you guys? Well, I don't think he will go on Friday. Uh, I think that uh, you know we got to hope that we can have Kevin back in some meaningful form starting on Monday. And, and uh, but Richard's got to be ready to go. He's had a great camp and he's was outstanding in the scrimmage and I think can be uh, be great. He just got to handle the line of scrimmage and everything that goes with that. And he'll be a terrific player. You guys love Monday off though, right? No, Monday we'll practice. Uh, we'll we'll uh, uh, rest a little bit on Saturday and Sunday. How long can you wait for Kevin to make a decision on who's going to play well, against Kansas State? I, I, I don't put a timeline on that. Obviously, you'd like him to be available as much as is possible, but we'll see. Everybody good? All right, thanks.